Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Recently, I met one of my subscribers, also a mother of a toddler. It was from a mall here in Muscat who thanked me to put Tiffin recipes because it had saved her life of feeding her son. I know she must be watching this video definitely. Forgot to ask her name. Thank you so much for motivating me to put more videos into the series. So these recipes had been packed for my kids on different days of course and doesn't have any names as such for few of them. Hope you will like it. Keep watching. On some days I don't pack just one item, it's a mix. Kids and even adults, at least me, love to have few varieties in the different box rather than just one single thing. Here I have four chicken drumsticks, poke few times with a fork, marinating it with some salt, quarter teaspoon crushed black pepper, quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, quarter teaspoon ginger powder and half teaspoon garlic powder now instead of this you can use ginger garlic paste then goes half teaspoon red chili powder half teaspoon coriander powder now i added few dried herbs which is completely optional shall mention everything in the description box now instead of this you can use chopped coriander leaves then goes two tablespoons olive oil mix everything well and here i have air fried the chicken pieces you may deep fry or shallow fry Now along with this, I prepared garlic bread. For this, peeled and washed around 15 to 20 garlic cloves. Pat dry and fry these in oil. Keep the flame medium low and when the garlic cloves turn to a light brown color, take them out. Add to a blender. To this goes 100 grams butter, unsalted or salted, doesn't matter. Later do adjust the salt accordingly. 1 teaspoon red chili flakes, few coriander leaves, salt. Blend this. Here goes a tip. You can make this mixture the previous night and then store in the fridge. Then use it next day to prepare which saves some time definitely. Spread on one side of the bread. Place it downwards on a heated tawa. Spread more on the top side. Turn and add some mozzarella cheese. Now cover so that the cheese melts soon. Make sure flame is low so that it doesn't burn at the bottom. Just a minute will be more than enough. And that's done. Cover the lower part of the drumsticks with the foil so that it's easy to hold. I add few slices of carrots or cucumber and it's packed depending on what they love to have for that day. For their fruit break, I add a fruit or a mix. Next is a very tasty prawn paratha and beginning with a tip. Prepare the dough just before going to bed. Here I used 2 cups whole wheat flour and 1 cup all purpose flour. The reason I used all purpose flour is because my wheat flour was over or else I would have used only wheat flour. Mix in some salt, half teaspoon crushed black pepper and 4 or 5 tablespoons of oil. Add warm water to knead. Here I used almost one and quarter cup more. It depends on the quality of the flour you are using. Knead to a soft dough. Spread some oil over and then cover. I had these deween prawns in the freezer so took those out before bed so that it's ready for the morning. As a part of the pre-preparation, peeled off onion, garlic and ginger 
and kept that ready along with the green chilies. Parathas go well with curd so that it doesn't become runny when packed. I strained it overnight. This makes the curd really thick and very creamy. Place that back in the fridge. Morning starts with a prawn stuffing. You can even make this overnight to save more time because this stuffing needs to cool down before filling. Chop two medium onions. Crush a small piece ginger along with four cloves of garlic and two green chilies. Now make a paste with few prawns with a blender or if you want you may chop two very tiny pieces. I have taken 10. Heat three tablespoons of coconut oil or any oil. Saute the crushed ginger garlic and green chilies till the raw smell leaves. Then goes in the chopped onion and saute till soft. Add some salt, quarter teaspoon crushed black pepper and few chopped coriander leaves. Mix thoroughly and then goes in the ground prawns. It might be a bit tricky to mix. You will have to mix it patiently till it breaks down to tiny clumps. Add a quarter teaspoon turmeric powder and mix for a couple of minutes. It's ready. Spread onto a plate and let it cool down. I had to place it under a fan to cool down. Knead the dough for a minute. From this quantity, I got 8 dough balls. Take each ball, flatten a bit. And stuff around 2 tablespoons of the prawn mix. Roll gently or else it can break. Actually you just have to roll a bit and then the rest can be flattened with your palms. Heat a tawa, add 1 or 2 tablespoons of ghee. Now place the paratha and give few more gentle press to spread a bit. A tablespoon more of ghee on top. Cook on medium low flame. Here you can see the curd has gone really thick and creamy. Time to pack. Next is another mix of few. Preparing a tuna potato pancake first. For this you need to grate one large potato. You can use a grater or a food processor to grate to very tiny shreds. Add that to cold water for 3 or 4 minutes to remove the starch. Remove the water and add that to a bowl. To this add 2 tablespoons of tuna chunks. Then a handful of chopped coriander leaves, half teaspoon crushed black pepper, some salt 
and mix well. Then goes in one egg and two tablespoons of corn flour. Mix well. Melt some butter over low heat. I do have this pan that makes the perfect size for this pancake. It's okay if you can make your own preferred size on any tower or a bigger pan than this. Cover and let it slow cook on low heat. Meanwhile, I'm preparing a mixture of cheese and honey to make the filling for what they call it in the Middle East, cheese and honey fatayar. Here I'm using leftover chapati. Place that on some melted butter and then turn. Add 2 3 tablespoons of the honey cheese mix and spread. Make sure flame is turned off now. Roll. Now slice and pack. Meanwhile, the pancake is cooked on one side, flip to cook the same on the other side. Add some more butter to get it fried and crispy. Had steamed eggs ready, preparing a marinade with some red chilli powder, turmeric powder, salt and oil. Now give few slits to the boiled egg and coat the mixture well onto the egg. Potato savory pancake is ready. Add some oil and fry the egg for some time and keep rolling so that it gets fried all over. And that was another snack to go into the tiffin. Next is, I guess, all kids' favorite. It's pasta. Cook two cups pasta in hot boiling water, adding some salt. After it's cooked, I strained, saving one cup pasta water for later use. Into a pan, heat some oil first, and then a slice of butter. In goes chopped ginger and garlic. Saute till it leaves the raw smell. Then goes in one large onion and two green chilies, all chopped. Saute till the onion is soft. Then add a small carrot that's chopped. You may add more vegetables. I had soaked some cashews in half cup filtered water the day before so that I don't have to wait till it gets soaked. Had kept this in the fridge. Add that to a blender along with some of the saved pasta water. Add the cashew milk to the pan and mix. Keep the flame low. Then goes in the cooked pasta. Adding more of the pasta water to make it a bit more loose and creamy. You may add plain warm water if you want. Add 1 tablespoon of soy sauce and mix. To this I broke 2 eggs and gave a good gentle mix all together. If you are a vegetarian, you may add some breadcrumbs instead of the egg and it gives a good texture to the pasta. Or else you can crumble some paneer and add. Finally goes in some chopped coriander leaves. Pack this delicious dish with some cookies and grapes. Next is my kids favorite, healthy pancake. For this, I took 1 cup oats and powdered in a blender to a coarse texture. 
to this goes in two very ripe bananas so that you don't have to add any sugar for sweetness. Break in two eggs. Then goes three tablespoons of oil. Quarter teaspoon salt for a balance. Half cup milk. Quarter to half teaspoon cinnamon powder which is completely optional but adds a good taste. Blend to a smooth batter. Place this batter in the fridge for 10 to 12 minutes to get it a bit thick. Now a time saving tip, you can prepare this batter ahead, that's overnight and place that in the fridge and good to go the next morning. While that was resting in the fridge, I prepared another savory simple snack that they could have along with the sweet pancakes. Had these frozen chapatis cooked on both sides for a while. Then adding some zaatar along with mozzarella cheese. Zaatar is a mix of mini herbs and sesame seeds. You can get it in stores where they sell Middle Eastern products. My kids love the taste of zaatar. Fold the chapati and let the mozzarella cheese melt. And that's enough. Time to prepare the pancakes. Melt some butter. As I said earlier, I have this pan to make the perfect pancakes. Cook for 2 minutes and keep on medium low flame. This pancake will be really soft so be gentle while flipping. Always wanted to flip this way and yes I got it right. After placing each pancake you may spread some honey on top before stacking the next one. Didn't have any berries at home. They go really well with pancakes. So that's all for today's video. Hope you will try it out for your kids. I'm sure they will enjoy. Do share me your feedback. See you with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.